Welcome to week 6 of the PCBL, where my wearer cave guard charms are taking on Coach Oak and his sneaky tendons in a roar. Got that right, yes sir. Alright, per usual, <clears throat> excuse me, golly. If you guys want to skip the team builder, go ahead, timestamp down below, skip it off, whatever you want to do. Uh, but yeah, this week, week 6, we are taking on Coach Oak, a good friend of mine, and his team is absolutely terrifying. Well, to be fair, most teams in this league are absolutely nuts. Um, as you can see, he has a Mega Aerodactyl, Meowsparata, Espatha, Iron Hands, Darm Galar, Fortress, Volcarona, Manaphy, Burgraph, Dottler, Muck, and Dragonair. His Terror Captains are Dottler, Furigraph, Muck, and Dragonair, if I am correct. Yes, it is. Okay. Um, and as you can see, his first six, those are the six that I think that he's going to bring. The Mega Era, Miascarada, Espatha, Iron Hands, Darm Gala, Fortress. Volcorn has a chance of popping up. So does Manaphy um, and Ferragraph because it's a Terra, so he might bring the Ferragraph for fun. Um, but th those, those are like the seven that I'm like really prepping for. I mean, I do have prep for the other other five as well, but you know, less less of because Gudra takes care of the Manaphy. That's you know, we all know that, right? But let's just hop straight into my team. And first up, we have Kaiba, a Mega Gallade with Drain Punch, Zen Headbutt, Knock Off, Swords Dance. Uh, Kaiba's job this week is not to do much, really. It's just to come in and just hit things hard. Like, if you pick up a kill or two, hey, by all means, go ahead. But his his thing is to break things down, um, just get free hits off. If I can use an attack, I'll use an attack. Mega Gallade doesn't really do much. He just forces prep on him and, you know, forces him to sweat a little bit. That's the only reason I have it. That Mega Gallade always has a good matchup, regardless, right? But he does not have a sweeping matchup, right? That's the only difference. If I get a Swords Dance up, I can't really sweep because I can take out a Mono or two and then it's revenged afterwards. So, but you know, it's, it's still good to have, you know, it's just really good to have. Next up, we have Choice Scarf Greninja. Yes, we are bringing Choice Scarf yet again. It has worked, it has not failed us yet, so it has a good matchup, anyways, too, right? Outspeed is the Mega Aerodactyl. Uh, put enough speed investments to outspeed a Spathor after a plus one boost. Potentially a plus two boost if he doesn't have max speed timid, right? If he's like more of like a I don't know bulky set and then has like say 120 EVs in speed, I outspeed it. So that that's the only time I outspeed if that's a plus two. But Hydro, Dark Pulse, Ice Beam, U turn, typical move set. Um, Hydro does a lot. He's he's one of my win cons for this week. Um, Hydro and Dark Pulse just rips through his entire team. So. He's one of my win cons. And then next up we have Shinsuya, Historic Gudra, AV, Flamethrower, Heavy Slam, Dragon Tail, and Rock Slide. Um, the max defense, same thing as last week as well. Flamethrower covers for the entire team. Heavy Slam, specifically for the Aerodactyl, also for the Galadarm. Flamethrower, also for Galadarm. Dragon Tail to phase things in and out. And then Rock Slide is for the Volcarona, so I can 1v1 it. Um, unless he is Charty Berry, even then I can still 1v1 it. You know, even if he does burn me, I could still 1v1 it. It's just insane how insanely good this mod is, right? It's just insane how good this mod is. Um, and I don't need any spadef investments. And if, if it does get out of hand and if I can't 1v1 it, I'll just phase it out with Dragon Tail. That's, that's kind of the point. And then next up, we have Zeus on Thunderous. Again, another Torch Scarf mod. T-Bolt, sl Sludge Wave, Psychic, Bolt Switch. He does not have a ground type besides Terra Ground. So, Bolt Switch spam. Fun. And the T-Bolt is crazy too. I just like... Zeus is like my primary win con, right? Primary win con, just full switch in and out, in and out, in and out, 24-7. He has nothing to stop me with it. And then just T-Bolt after to chip things down, right? Just T-Bolt wins the game. Uh, next up, this was actually a last second. Not really last second, but after like a lot of content playing my last mod, like, what should I bring, what should I bring? I brought Hatterene. And Hatterene is really good because he has Fortress, sets of hazards, spikes, T-spikes, stealth locks. He has sticky webs and dotler as well. So if you just try to bring dotler, get sticky webs up, Hatterick comes in. So the the whole purpose of this is thunderous leads, nothing else beats thunderous. So I just bolt switch out. If it's a fortress lead, bolt switch into Hatterene, magic bounce, hazard, back. Good. And then, well, what Hatterene actually does, he just sets up calm minds. He just sets up and then draining kiss, side shock, Giga Drain. I put Giga Drain on there for the mana fee just in case he does bring it and I have it answer for it um but i was gonna put mystic fire but i was like i don't really need mystic fire so i just i just, I just, I just kind of put me doing on it i was like hey i mean it doesn't really hurt uh but yeah just max defensive build and then just eight special attack but yeah like i said just get a calm minds and i just win the game 
even that path where I 1v1 it, I calm mind up, side shot, it's dead. Um, and he just doesn't have really an answer for hand range. And leftovers, you know, to keep, to keep us up healthy. And last but not least, we have James, our Weezy. He is our defensive backbone for this, th for this week, alongside Gujra as usual. But Black Sludge, Sludge Brown, Protect, Plane Split, and Willow Wisp, Max Defense, like usual. Willow stops the Galar Darm. If he is Scarf, Scarf Darm, which most likely he is going to be Scarf Darm, that's what I think. Most likely, Scarf Darm. Um, if he is Bandit, I'm kind of screwed. But Willow takes care of it, right? Willow takes care of it. Willow takes care of the Iron Hands, takes care of the um, Darm, the arrows. Well, even the Miascarada, right? Burning, so the Flower Trick doesn't do as much. Even through the, yeah, even through a crit. I don't think, I think burn affects this though now. So I have to ask another point. So yeah, that, that's kind of the team right there. And let's just jump right into the replay. And as you can see, he brought the Iron Hands. A spot through a Volcarona, Galadarm, Dollar, and Fortress. No Miascarada, no Mega Aerodactyl. I'm, I mean, I'm not really celebrating here because this is still terrifying regardless. I have to play like almost perfect to be able to win this game, but whatever. So we see this, I guarantee know that my lead is thunderous no matter what. I don't care what he leads with, I just Volt Switch out. Guaranteed every single time. Um, if it's a Fortress lead or a Dotler lead, Maki comes straight in. So let's just go in normal speed. Turn 1, he comes out the Galadarm, and I'm like, okay, fine, I'm going to get 50% off easily. Volt Switch for 21%. Phenomenal. And I come into Weezing, Ice Punch. No Ice will Crash. It's not Ice will Crash, it's Ice Punch. Which... I'm more than happy with. I'm like, oh my gosh, Ice Punch, Weezing, walls this thing for days. He can't do anything to me. Even a Flare Blitz doesn't do anything. I just Willow and I'm, I'm chilling, I'm chilling. And I don't even need to put Willow because he's already so low. I can just Sludge Bomb it and I have a 30% chance of poison, so I don't care. But he reveals he's actually Zen Mode, which is kind of insane. I was like, Zen Mode? I don't, I don't know what's going on right now. Um, so Zen Mode might... I think Zen Darm... I mean, it didn't really kill, right? But yeah, it had, it's still a three cut. If it was Ice Will Crash, it was a two cut. Like, guaranteed. So I was kind of scared, but I'm glad he did not have, he did not have Ice Will Crash. If he had Ice Will Crash, I kind of would have been screwed if I do not land my Willow. And this track with Sludge Bomb, Dollar comes out, as you can see. And I do get the poison. Pretty pretty lucky on my side, but even though it's a 30% chance, all burn. But even then, you know, it's still pretty lucky. Uh, let's go straight to Maki. And he makes an actual impressive double onto my. He makes a really good double onto me coming out to Magic Bounce Hatterene. He doubles straight out, which was a really good play on his part. And I don't really care about the double because I just go straight to my Shin Sweet and I know I'm going to do a Rock Slide. And he misses his Willow, which is kind of huge. Charity Berry does pop. I still do 46%. He Willows now. Uh, I mean, it doesn't really matter, right? If I'm being honest with you, because even if he got the burn off and that rock slide is 44% after a burn, I did 46% for the charity. So I'm like, I mean, it would have done what 23% plus 44. That's still looking at 70, 77%, right? So even then, it's still like it's still. No, I mean, you know what I mean, it's still a nine, like you know, it's still a three call regardless. Even if you did burn me, so I, I, I mean, yeah. And I had Dragon Tail, so I also also phase it out, which I just do right here. Just I'm gonna be slow regardless, so I just Dragon Tail. He has he clicks Fiery Dance, and he does get the boost. That's why I click Dragon Tail, no miss. Let me just hit the button. Now you're gone. He comes into Iron Hands, and I go straight into Weezing, and he clicks some. And I'm like, oh well, this is not good. I cannot will it. So I click my Sludge Bomb as he clicks Belly Drum with Citrus Berry, and my Sludge Bomb does not break it. So at this point, I am pooping bricks right now. Like I am stressing out. Like you don't understand. This game took like 35 minutes, I think. I was stressed, bro. So I'm like, oh my god, this thing can sweep me. 100%. This thing can sweep me. Um, cause he did outspeed my Weezing. So he sped crept. So if he sped crept my Weezing. He 100% sped crept my Gudra. So I'm think I'm sitting here like okay, so he outspeeds half my team. My Weezing, my Hatterene, and Gudra. What do I do? So after a long time of contemplating, I come to the conclusion I need to break its sub. After I break its sub, I need to let it I need to break its sub, get it low enough as he clicks drain punches as as he subs down, right? So I, I protect 
sludge, protect sludge, right? Drain Punch does that. I don't know why he Drain Punch. I mean, it makes sense to get um, HP back, but Thunder Punch two shot at me. So my entire thing was, I'm going to force him to click sub, get as low as possible, break his sub, come out into Thunder, and Psychic kills. Cause Psychic does about mid 50% with his build, and he was like super spadef build. So he kills, and my Sludge Bomb does not break its sub, which was very unfortunate. Um, yeah, which is very unfortunate. I mean, it is what it is. So I had to come in with Thunderous, and I need to click Volt Switch. And I need to sack something. So right here, I'm like, one of two things will happen. He knows I click Volt Switch 100%. He knows I'm 100% clicking Volt Switch to break this up. He has one of two plays. He can sub again to get a, a brand new sub off for free. So now he, so he'll be like at 15% whatever, and I'm cooked. He gets a brand new sub off. Or he clicks Thunder Punch. So he has two plays, and I have two plays. I click Volt Switch on him, uh, put on him clicking T Punch, or I click Volt Switch. He gets a sub off, or I click Psychic as he gets a sub off, and I could break his uh, sub, and then just Psychic and kill him. Or I Psychic and he T Punches, and I'm dead. So I'm like, okay, so this, there's five scenarios. I think four or five scenarios that could happen. And I go, this is because it's super safe. Let me just Volt Switch. If he does sub, I'm going to go out to my Gallade. I'm going to Volt Switch into Gallade. If he does sub, I can Zen Headbutt it, break it sub, come out to Thunderous, click Psychic, so kill it. If he doesn't sub and clicks Thunder Punch, Gallade dies. Not a big deal. That's fine with me. Um, I don't want to do, I don't want to go to my Gujra because if he did click sub on my Gujra, I was kind of cooked. I'll be the same as that predicament and I'll have to sack off my Gallade and try to play his games again. So I was like, you know what? This Volt Switch straight into my, my Kaiba. If he subs, great with me. If he clicks button, I'm dead and that's fine. Right? And he gains 31%. But at this point, I don't care because now I come out to Thunderous and I click Psychic, get off 44%. He dies. He dies next. He, he, uh, I get off my Psychic, get off 44%. Get him low enough for Grand Hydro to kill. The Spadef drop was kind of massive because now I don't have to click Hydro. I can just click Ice Beam. Ice Beam also kills. I can't click Dark Pulse because it's resistant. So now it's a free Ice Beam. Instead of me... I mean, it is kind of hacksy because now instead of me landing a 80% chance move or 70% chance move, whatever it is, to me just clicking Ice Beam and dying, right? So he hard swaps out into his Dottler. On my ice beam, I get off a good chunk. I think it's like 27%, 27%, good chunk. And I hard swap with my hattery because I know this dollar cannot do anything. He tears water, he tears waters, recover. I don't really care, so I'm just like, okay, let me just combine up. I got off my first combine. And right here, I do apologize to Oak because I did take a long time. It took me a while to click my second combine. <laughs> and I'll tell you why, because I was I was doing all the calcs in my head, bro. I was doing the calcs in the um, damage count I was looking through I was like okay how many combines do I need to win the game how many do I need to win the game since I do not have mystical fire so I cannot kill the fortress and if the fortress has heavy slam I'm kind of cooked because if he if I kill him on he comes straight to fortress clicks heavy slam I go into Gudra I'm I'm still four I'm still down 42 right I'm still down 42 and I lose this game so I'm like thinking I'm like I'm doing the cast how many how many do I need and I'm doing the cast I'm like I need if, even if I get a plus six I can't kill the freaking fortress I think it was like plus six or whatever but I can't even get that high but as we were here I just call mine up again after like another 10 minutes and then he clicks Lumina crash I go down to neutral now I'm at minus two and then I just click drain kiss and then that's GG draining kiss over and over again wins me the game and I'm actually, I'm actually glad that I did not um, combine up more because the second draining kiss would not have given me all the HP back right if I did all that it, he would have went down to his sash which he did have sash right that he revealed afterwards he would have went down to his 1% and then actually draining kiss after that I would have been super low iron hands did outspeed me and he's not burned or anything so he was going to do a good chunk he was going to do about 70% so if I did not if I combined it up more, I would have lost this game. So, in hindsight, it was good that I didn't combine more. So, even right here, I just won this game. Ice Punch is doing it because Ice Punch Crash would have brought me a little bit lower. He would have brought me down to about 20%, barring the crit. And then, yeah, so now I'm just 
put in, in here and it's over we win this game and had Reed has his debut had we made his debut and it gave me five kills it came out here and gave me five kills and secured our w which is so massive because now we are three and three i think we're at three and three plus one i think i think we're three and three plus one but yeah after starting off super rough all in three make it we make a comeback and we get up three three and three plus one like it's, it's insane it's insane it's it's genuinely insane i think it's because of the way i started prepping now i changed the way i prep um for, for these games now uh, i don't want to give away too much but i don't prep the same as i used to right uh, <laughs> uh one thing i can tell you is i'm not prepping in any offense no more that's one thing i can tell you but yeah i'm just super happy with where i played with with where i prep against already oh i know he was kind of upset because this game took like 40 minutes almost so <laughs> it, it was a very long game and i did take my time i was freaking out like, i'm telling you i was if this was a live game bro i'm telling you it would have been an hour video like i'm no joke it would have been so long because i was stressing bro i could not i can't stress enough how much i was stressing bro i was freaking out after that belly drum but thankfully we made it out 3-0 win maki came out in her debut and got us this dub yes sir we got this dub now we are three and three plus one we are in playoffs now we are at the 10th seed i believe um so yeah we're, we're in playoffs for now but we have six more weeks left we'll see how that plays out hopefully i could keep riding this train and keep stacking up these wins you know what i mean but yeah thank y'all for sticking around i think we're on our way to 900 subscribers again but who cares the, the new the, the goal at, at the end at the end of the day right now is to get to a thousand so 900 all these mini goals went to 100 by 100 not nah, forget all that goal thousand let's try to get to a thousand before the end of november that's the goal and i'll see y'all next week peace